Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne, and this is Make It Just So. I am back after a bit of a break. Uh, just wanted to jump right back in with some of my recent makes for June of 2023. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the top that I'm wearing. It is a bubble crepe, and I used Silhouette Patterns number 622. It's really cute. I would say it's an awesome top, and I would probably make it in more fabrics. I'd like to make it in a silk. I couldn't decide on a color because one thing is if you're going to make it in a print, you have to be careful because both sides of the fabric show in the sleeves and in the ruffle um, around the neck. So I thought that a print would be pretty, but you have to make sure both sides are usable. And I had a hard time choosing a color because I thought with this top, if I did black, it might go a little witchy. And if I did white, it could go a little pirate, a little poet, too poety. So I just went with this fun floral and um, I'm really excited about it. I've been wearing it a lot. It's really fits perfectly. I think I got the fit down and I was really happy with how it came out. So make number two would be another silhouette pattern. This time it's number 222. And I first made the muslin in a black rayon jersey. And really, I didn't have to make many changes. Uh, I did shorten this keyhole. It was a little longer, and I decided to make it a little shorter for me because I'm petite and short-waisted. And uh, I made it sleeveless, as you can see, uh, followed the directions. And I did choose a larger size at the bust and tapered to a smaller size at the shoulders and waist just because I knew with the finished garment measurements that the amount of ease that I liked I didn't want negative ease and I will say there's an error on the back of the pattern these are reversed so the bust and waist flip them and they'll make a lot more sense so it runs I would say it runs kind of small but that's the beauty of having the finished garment measurements on the silhouette patterns is that you can choose by what the final product is going to be like and compare that to something in your wardrobe. And you know how tight, how snug you like a top. Uh, so then my fabric I chose to make it in was this green rayon stripe. I'll insert some photos or some video with me trying it on. But I really love it, and I'm actually trying to figure out a self-drafted pattern to make a little short to go with it, or a little skirt to make it a set. It's so cute. And I'm going to be trying on the black one with this self-drafted skirt. This is something I made, uh, it's been a couple years now, but since I've been gone, you haven't seen it, so I thought I would share. And this is a Rayon Chalet, and just a one tier two-tier, I guess, prairie skirt, kind of fitted through the hips. I did manage to put an elastic waist and an invisible side zip. So you'll see me try that on. It looks really cute with the black top. Then for the last make, pretty excited about this. This, as you can see here in the navy on the little or mannequin, is a two-piece set that my sister, um, my sister and I were trading back and forth. We've had it we bought it a long time ago, originally at Express, and it was a little snug, but we liked it so much, she asked me to make a copycat. So finally, years later, I drafted a pattern, found fabric that would work, that was suitable, and made this set to my measurements. I'm going to be making another one for hers. Um, the top, I'll start with the top. I did make it out of a rayon jersey and really happy with the way it came out. We're going to be twinsies, but custom fit to each of our measurements and finished the edge just the way they did, used bias tape. It's cut on the bias for the cowl and I was really happy with the way it came out. The color is super cute and current and then this is the two-piece set. The skirt has um, 
good day inserts and really happy with the way it came out too. I'll insert some video of me trying it on with the flounces and it was just a fun make. Really happy, really think she's going to be happy with it. It's so flattering uh, with the top cut on the bias. The skirt is cut straight on grain. It's a knit so there's really no grain but with the stretch around the body and the good days add all the flip and cuteness to that skirt. It's such a good two-piece set. It looks like a dress when it's smoothed out. But then you can separate the pieces, add a belt, you know, sky's the limit. So if you'd like to know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm so glad to be back. Happy to see you all visiting my channel and check out my website for other projects I've done and more details on some of these at makeitjustso.com. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.